uh, on the phone with Ford, I'm trying to drive. Thank you for calling Ford Motor Company. My name is Aaron. How can I assist you today? Hello, Aaron. I just got my vehicle back from a, a transmission service at uh, Courtesy Ford in Brobridge, Louisiana. And yes, it is making one hell of a crunching sound. And I'm not really sure what I should do. Okay, uh, did you contact the servicing dealership to advise them of that noise? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, uh, ideally that would definitely be the first step so they can get it back in there and find out what happened at that service uh, that caused that crunching noise to begin occurring. Okay, uh, I have an open case with you guys. Um, can you check that out? I don't have a number with me, though. I do have a VIN. Does that help? Well, what was your uh, name, please? It's going to be under Suzanne Juno or Andre Juno. I'm Andre. Suzanne's the owner. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and get that VIN, please. Uh, sure. That's going to be 1-F-A-D-P-3-K-2-8-D-L-1-6-7-6-4-8. Thank you. Give me just a moment. Can you bear with me just a moment? I'm going to see if I can get in touch with Leroy for you. All right. Alright, I'm going to place you on hold for just a moment, see if I can get him on the phone, and I'll be right back with you. That'd be great. Thank you. There. So I'm uh, holding the Android phone, recording using the iPhone that's here to talk to them on the sink here, and I'm on hold for Leroy. Hope you heard that. That was pretty nasty sounding. Let me turn it down so you can hear it better. Yeah, that that on these up. Trying to go up a hill. They did it. It's acceptable at cruise, but uh, any other state, diesel especially, very very poor.
Yes. Hello, sir? Yes. All right, thank you for holding up. Will you hold on the line? He's going to go ahead and speak with you now. All right, that'd be great. Thank you. Hello, Leroy. How are you? I'm doing good. How about yourself this morning? Uh, I've done better. I've, uh, you know, driven quite a ways to return a rental car and uh, pick up a, a vehicle that was supposed to be serviced. And uh, it's doing pretty much the same thing it was when I dropped it off. Okay. I see. I'm, I'm sorry, to, sorry to hear that. I don't know if you can hear it when yeah. it shifts or not. There's like a crunching noise. Um, it does move under its own power at all times so far, um, which it didn't when I brought it in. So that is an improvement that the car moves under its own power, but it's pretty loud, abrupt. Yeah, well, uh, it, it, just for our, for our call, the board is another case. I'm going to document for you. WCAS 274-5421. That sounds correct. Uh, all of our I, I don't have the case number in front of me, but I believe you. Right, and then uh, all of our calls are recorded for quality training purposes. Excellent. Now, uh, now in, in regards to the noise, like I said, the crunching, crunching noise, it's quote unquote, the, uh, does it, does it happen on every gear shift, let's say? Uh, it does not happen on every up gear shift, but it does happen on every down gear shift. Um, and it seems to happen about 50% of the time on up gear shifts. Um, if you don't, if you don't ever slow down or don't speed up, it does work correctly. Um, if you encounter a hill, it's pretty bad. And it, it didn't start doing it until I got a little temperature in it. Um, it, it made it about five, seven miles before it had any, any issues at all. What area are you in currently? Are you I, I am on my way from Brobridge to La to Lafayette to uh oh, Scott. I'm going through Lafayette at the moment. Okay. And uh as as far as the uh, customer service manager, I know we have the information uh up front to or so I'm trying to try to get an idea of how to proceed. Uh, being that I'm a customer service manager, I would be your technical representative. And so if you are you still have issues, one thing that I can do is I can so reach out to the dealership, you know, see if there's anything specific with what you're describing, but I can provide you some information some other time. But I would have a chance if uh always uh before the dealership happens I'm sorry, Lyra. I, I can't understand you. Um, can you hear me now? I can now. Okay. So I should say that I'm not a technical representative, and so I would be able to advise you specifically, but I could make a contact out to the dealership and try to get this information. But other than that, that that's why it was uh, advice that you're looking into, you know, make your next steps at this point, and any type of next steps with had to come through a uh, Ford dealership all, you know, based, based on the conditions and the issues that you're experiencing now. Okay. So what I can do, uh, if you like, I can uh, connect this over with um, a, a representative over at Curry Ford, trying to see, you know, to maybe explain you know, what, what's going on or, you know, maybe take that information and then maybe either create an appointment or give me any type of next step. Um, I guess that if that's the only thing you can do, then go ahead and do that, Leroy. So give me just a few moments. I'm going to get a representative uh, on the line from a courtesy for it, okay? All right. in case you didn't figure it out.
Hello, Mr. Judah? Yes. Hello, oh, I wanted to thank you for holding the phone. Let's try to get uh, someone on the line out from the service department to get my name to hold. All right, no problem. Thank you. heard that one. That one was pretty bad. Yes. Thanks for holding for me. And how I want the line, Jim, from the source of money. All right. I'm able to uh, here. I need to use the information I have to go forward. All right. I'm going to talk to you about the on the and the your vehicle. Um, and what they can all be able to find. And how long? I'm sorry. Right. Within one week's time, I'll give you uh, a follow-up call. Just try to see where we are. Before that time. I don't find that to be acceptable. Well, what we want to do is you know, definitely want to work with your dealership you know, going forward here and ask what Jim's going to uh, help you out. And then wherever it need be, I'll still give you a call even if it, uh, it's before that time. I'm not interested in waiting that long. I'm just going to go ahead and go back with my previous assumption that if, if this this repair did not take. I'm just going to have to contact the attorney. I don't know what else to do. This is your fifth attempt. Fourth at very minimum. Fifth in reality. Um, not interested in you guys fixing it. I, I don't know what to say anymore. I understand. I just give you the next steps. Like I said, I do have Jim on the line now. I mean, if you want to discuss the deal with you, assist you with that. I'm not interested. I I'm going to. I'll talk to you later, Leroy. This is unacceptable. I'm going to hang up.